Hey guys, Tark with Cycling FPV. Today is a slamming day. It is September 16th, and I am getting in probably about, uh, probably about a thousand pieces of inventory today. It is going to be nuts. I just received 50 transmitters. I received 50 chargers. I got 700 batteries coming in. I mean, it's going to be nuts. So I figured today we're going to, oh, and I've got 30 transmitters coming in. I don't know. It's, it's, sorry, 50 Fly Sky and 30 Fry Sky, I think. So it's going to be a little crazy. Hey, if you want to leave those there, I'll just do it. It's my wife trying to throw. No, no, babe, it's okay. They all know who you are. Just bring it out here. Sorry. Leave it right there. I'll put it all the way. I still gotta do stuff, you know, guys. It's not all drums. All right, baby, I'll get it. Love you. Love you. Okay, so uh, right now we just got done doing the Fry Sky X9 Light transmitter, and I'm waiting for more FedEx people to show up here and UPS. But if we don't get interrupted, hopefully we can finish this one. So this today is we are going to now look at the new or for new for me, the um, IMAX B6 with the AC plug, the AC outlet, 80 watt version. Uh, I know there's a couple different versions of this and I wanted to make sure that I had the uh, the kind of, the, the, the model that came with the plugs, right? Because you can get one without it. I didn't feel like messing with it. Uh, I don't want to deal with that and then my customers wonder where their stuff is. So I figured it'd be easier. I don't know how much more that is. Uh, we'll have this priced out today for you, but I figured, hey, let's go ahead and open it up and see what we got, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and get this uh, done properly. I did, like I said, I did want the power cable and I'm glad I got it with it. Uh, I think that's gonna be a good option. Now let me just plug the darn thing in. And I've never used one of these before, so hey, let's all use it together for the first time, ready? All right, so the first thing is my plug. So there we go. Now I've got this wire running across this way, so it's probably not the ideal way to get the most out of it, but there you go. Now, here's my book. And my book is gonna be pretty simple, I think. Pretty self-explanatory, but I could always screw something up. Okay, let's just get right to it. I don't feel like reading. It takes too much Ritalin to read. All right, so a part of the cable set that they're giving you here, oh, this is actually pretty cool. I'm impressed with this. Um, so you've got your different connections here to go ahead and, uh, and do your work. Um, but at the same time, I've also got um, these, right? So I'm gonna use the banana plugs and it looks like I've got my plug for a, uh, also for a, uh, whatchamacallit? Uh, oh, I'm losing my mind here for like the, um, the, the batteries for the goggles. Uh, so uh, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and start off standard with this and get this plugged in and see what we're working with just to standard, just to do a standard lipo, right? So I've got the same one I used in my last video. This is from uh, Banggood. It's a little, it's called Zip Zop, whatever the hell it is. Uh, 3S um, 65C lipo. So I'm gonna go ahead and mess around with the menu here in a second, but I am kind of just eager to see how this is gonna go. So I'm gonna plug that in and I'm gonna go ahead and use my balance charger here. Uh, what I do like, what I do like, let me put this in here, there we go. What I do like about this, I mean, right off the bat is it seems to be like it's gonna be an extension and, and that's pretty cool. So this will obviously be able to connect to this cable and then give my output power to my JSTs or to whatever else I'm using. So I'm, I'm digging this cable, I like it. Uh, this one looks like it's gonna be just fine as well. But really right now my focus is right here. So let's go ahead and see what we got. So we're gonna go to battery type and I'm just gonna click it. And we got our standard batteries. Uh, does this go, okay, so it does go high voltage. Okay, so we're just gonna go LiPo to start. And uh, hit enter. And then let's say success. No, so it's not automatically reading, I guess, because I am plugged into the, uh, let me see, make sure I am plugged into the 3S right here. Uh, but I and my charger back there would automatically detect that this isn't 3s uh, But I'm gonna see what options it gives me. So I've got charge uh, Balance charge storage discharge. Okay, so we're gonna go for a balance charge, right? And I'm gonna hit enter and it should start blinking. So this is pretty standard software uh, I'm gonna go to 3s and I'm gonna go ahead and this is a what does it say 1800 And I don't push the charging rates and that would be it right so I assume now you long hold it it's going to check the battery and it's going to tell me and this actually runs the same same interface as what's running on a thunder power rc so that seems to be about right um, now one thing that i will do then if that is the case is that actually it is and it goes um it goes between the menus as well all right so let's go to user set and i'll hit enter and uh i have a pre-charge yeah i don't have that on oops let me keep going uh max charge uh no uh that's fine, safety timer. Okay, I don't like that being on that long, so I'm just gonna go ahead and crank this down to 60 minutes. Uh, capacity cutoff, no, I'm gonna crank that down to 2000, only because I know what I use, right? 
Uh, safety timer. Okay, temp. Okay. Okay. Everything else looks pretty good. All right. So I won't mess with that. So it looks like we're set here for the most part. Um, and let me see what I want to do. What else do I want to look at here? Okay. So this uh, must actually be my other option for input. And that would make sense. So let me check that out. AC. Yeah. Okay. So I'm sure that I'll have to look into that. I'm going to grab this book here real quick. And so, yeah, that is, that's DC input actually. But, but the cool part is, is, um, and that's pretty neat because then you can go ahead and that's where the minimum voltage is. Um, so you have an option here for minimum voltage, which you guys already know this stuff, but uh, 11 volt would be my minimum cutoff, which is fine. So I could basically plug this in and then get it to my DC output or put it on a battery, a LiPo, for example, which we may test later on. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna get out of that and go down and let me see, where else do I wanna be? Uh, okay, I think we're good here. Let's go back. Okay. All right, so I'm going to go back to my balance charge, and I'm set at 3S1800. Hit start, and there we go. So we told it to go ahead and run up to 1.8, and it will. It's an 80 watt, so you got to figure that if you do your math, uh, 1.8, or just round it to 2, 2 amps times, uh, let's say, 12 volts would be 24 uh, watts. So we're really not even close to touching this now. You could go even higher. Uh, but in either case, this is running pretty good. It's going to balance charge. So there it is. I mean, there's really nothing more to show you on this one. I don't know if the screen even, uh, sorry, I guess that kind of screwed that up with the lighting there a little bit, but, uh, for the most part, it looks pretty good. Uh, really affordable from what I understand. So I'm going to go check the pricing on this. Um, and uh, let me see what else it says. Charge rate. Okay. One six amps, discharge two amp. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Everything else looks fine. So there it is. That's a very quick, very, very, very quick, um, video on the new product that we just got in there's really not much else to show you right now if you have any specific questions about it i guess one thing let me see something here real quick um so if i want to take the um balance lead out and i want to tell it that i want to charge that i just want to charge it right and so i'm going to tell it that i want to do 3s Excellent. So without the balance, I'm good. So that's how we do it if we're not, we don't have a balance connector on it or you have a battery that doesn't have a balance connector. Um, so let me stop that one. And then now I guess I'm curious because now I really want to see what happens here. Okay. So that should power off and I'm going to disconnect this here. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to tell this that I want to use my input. I want to see how oh, well, now I'm not really comfortable about doing it that much like this, but hey, for right now, let's give it a shot. There we go. All right, so we've got our setup. So now, really, all I need to do is let me grab a helpless little lipo that might be laying around here. Uh, I think this is a, yeah, this might be a damaged sugar rush, but we'll just give it a shot. I think I damaged one of the cells here, so I'll just tell it to do a regular charge, and we're going to call this a uh, 4S. So let's go 4S. Let's see what happens. And there it goes. And I'm going to see how it starts pulling from here. So it is charging it still. Running off of uh, DC right now instead of AC. So that's pretty cool. So you do get both options here with DC and AC. We'll go ahead and stop that. That's good enough for me to see. So that takes care of that. And then let me see what else. Um, these plugs are pretty cool, I guess. I mean, this, this will definitely give you some options to do whatever you need. Uh, so I don't see there being a problem here. Don't see a problem there. I do like the charger and all it's pretty small pretty easy uh full uh, aluminum uh, casing so good deal right for the money it seems pretty good well I, I guess we'll look at the money here in a little bit anyways i just had these in i got 50 of them you can see them all stacked up right behind me i just got done unpacking them so i want to throw this on here real quick basically to tell you guys that we have them here pretty simple charger should be good excellent for the student kits too that we're putting together and they should be very affordable so check out i will have a link under the description here and it'll give you a link to when i put these on the website so you can see how much they are but I promise you they're going to be uh, well worth your time. All right. Take care, guys, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. If you have any questions, hit me up. Please make sure to subscribe to us on YouTube. Uh, make sure to like us or follow us on Facebook. And if you need anything, email me at targetcyclonefpb.com. And I think that's pretty much all the buttons I got. Bye, guys. God bless. Stay fine.